So, one of the problems that I've had with this set is um, I don't know if I have all of the sockets that I need. Um, one, of the, one of the jobs I had to do, um, I needed a five and a half millimeter and I actually went and bought um, this little guy from Tecton, just one of them, um, and it's a five millimeter head um, to take off small bolts because I've never had a five millimeter in, in this with my quarter inch sockets. But, but really, you know, when I look at other reviews on YouTube and look at different socket sets to upgrade, you know, the biggest question I have is how do I know that they have all of the sockets that are available? That's, that's kind of what my goal is, is to get all of the sockets, you know, so that when I have a job, um, I don't have to, I know that it, that it's there somewhere, even if I have, you know, even if it's this unorganized, you know, I can look for a socket. So that kind of went on, sent me on this, this quest to find what exactly is a complete socket set and does anybody actually have them? Do they sell a complete socket set? Um, so that's what I'm going to show what I've, what I've found. So to begin with uh, my quest for finding the perfect socket or the a complete set, what I did was, the first thing I did was I looked in my machinist handbook and I was, I was lucky enough to find two pages. Um, I can't remember the page number, but two pages and one was talked about the different sizes for a quarter, a three-eighths drive, and a half-inch drive for the SAE. And then the other one was for the millimeters. And so I, I took that, those two pages and I made this compilation here and I put Maco up at the top. Um, but, but anyways, what I did, you know, so I made this list, um, and then this represents essentially a full complete set, I guess. I can't find anything else that would, would say otherwise. And so if you want every socket that is in those sizes, this is the, this is how you know you have them all. Now, one thing to take note on is if you look at the SAE sizes or the inch sizes that because they're fractional and I'm using Excel, Excel sometimes has a hard time um, with fractions. It likes to make it a date or whatever. And instead of going through and, and formatting all the cells, what I did was I just put two, two O's, two lowercase O's in the beginning. And then after that, it's just copy paste and that just makes it stay in the format I want. So that's why if you look at the inches, there's all these double aughts in front of all the numbers. And that's why uh, basically I'm lazy in Excel. So this represents a full socket size. If I move on to the next picture um, or the next page, this shows the, the next step in the process was to decide if I needed to if I could eliminate any of those sizes um, just because they're there they match one or the other so for instance you know the 13 millimeters is a pretty good match for the half inch um, and so I made this list I I looked up again I looked in the machinist handbook I found wrench opening clearances for um, SAE sizes I didn't find anything in the millimeter size um, maybe there's a page I, I couldn't find However, I was able to Google and find something about millimeter clearances and they had a minimum and then they had two maximums depending on the quality of the, the socket. And so I just used the, the, the bigger one or the, the bigger max. And after I, you know, I took the millimeters and I converted them into inches and then I compared it against the, des the inches, the SAE sizes that I converted to inches as well with their minimums and maximums. And um, then I kind of looked at them and made a matching table in the middle here. Now, uh, after looking at this table, I realized that 3.2 is not on there. Um, 3.2 and 1 eighth, they're a pretty close match. And it's pretty important to notice that 3.2 and 6.3 both have a match um, in SAE, mostly because those two are really difficult to find. Um, in the brands as you'll see but to me I think if you know if I have a 1 8 and I have a 1 quarter then I probably don't need to get a 6.3 and a 3.2 
so moving on to the next the um, I started doing brand research and I started with Pittsburgh um, and just because they're the cheapest and everybody recognizes them um, as the cheapest uh, but they do offer a lot of great sizes I'd pick Pittsburgh over Stanley and I'd pick Pittsburgh over um, Husky I'll show you Husky in a minute and why um, and I you know I showed you earlier that I have a Husky set so um, but Pittsburgh's gone especially now with their pro wrench pro sockets the pro line is a lot better than their previous tools and you know so they're just they, they've gotten a lot better um, and plus with the what their offer is a lot better so I'm not going to really compare quality a whole lot but here's Pittsburgh they don't have a they don't have individual sockets they just have sets they either have the small sets if you look on the left there's um, the different colors those colors represent a full set and then on the right you see the 300 piece set and this is just the quarter inch drive offerings that are six point in the 300 piece set the next slide shows the uh, 3 8 drive set um, again with the, their individual sets and then their big large set and then here's the half inch drive um, if we go there's a lot of white space the white is means that there's nothing they don't offer that socket husky um, moving on husky um, I do think that they're pretty good quality the ones I have um, I can't really complain I haven't had any problems with them other than I will say that I've had my half inch 32 millimeter half inch shallow I've broken it a couple times um, of course it's a 12 point but anyways one thing about their the husky is that they sell at Home Depot they sell um, individual sockets and they're probably the cheapest um, cost wise buying a, buying one socket and so if you do need a, a real specific socket maybe you lost one from another set and you're just f trying to fill that gap um, Husky is a good option it's the cheapest option as far as doing that practice of just buying one socket um, I do think Husky and and the Lowe's brand um, whatever that one is I can't remember at the top of my head right now but I think that they're fairly comparable and so I didn't really look at that one um, cobalt that's what it is and I and I know you know cobalt didn't really offer every single socket so just showing it with husky here but you know here's the here's the 3 8 drive husky um, if you look at the blue that means it's 12 point they offer a 12 point version now really I'm not looking for 12 point sockets I'm looking for six point sockets and then if you look at their half inch drive you'll see that they don't offer any sockets in six point all of their sockets are 12 point that are half inch drive which and that that affirms the set that I have I don't have any six point half inch drive sockets um, over the years I've just used I bought a a Pittsburgh um, impacts set that was a half inch deep and they have some I've just been using that for most of the time Anyways, moving on, Tecton, um, their half inch or their quarter inch drive sets are, their set is pretty full. Um, if you look at their individual socks, again, they sell them individually. They're a little more expensive than the Husky, probably twice as much. So twice as much being in the $3 range, um, 3 to $4 range for their smaller ones and moving, you know, going up in price for their larger ones, probably $10 for their big, like their 32 millimeter um, half inch drive one but one thing you'll notice is that they don't sell all of their sockets that they make they don't sell them all individually which to me is doesn't make any sense I would think that if you make the socket why not and you sell individual sockets why not sell all of the sockets that you make individually um, maybe if I call them up they might be able to sell them to me but as far as just looking on their online website or going into a store that sells them there is a local store that sells Tecton that's kind of cool but they don't and Amazon sells them that's another kind of cool thing with Tecton but they don't sell all their sockets individually that's kind of frustrating um, moving on to their 3H drive um, now this is one thing that's common with other brands 
with a lot of brands is that the 3 8 drive is not as barren, I would say. You know, they don't offer a lot. And to me, that's fine as long as in the middle, which is this is showing, that the middle sizes, um, you know, for instance, the 8 to 19 millimeter and 5 16 to 3 quarters, um, you know, at least those ones are being offered because the higher sizes I can cover with my half inch drive set and the smaller sizes I can cover with my quarter drive set. And these really represent the, the 3 8 drive really represents the, the most, the sockets you're going to use the most anyways. Um, so save a little money here, but the rest of the, you know, either the quarter inch drive or the half inch drive, I want them to be full. So here's the the Texans half inch drive set. Um, it's miss for the set itself. It's missing, you know, for the SAE socket, some at the the bot or the top end. Um, however, with their millimeter, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I'm not again, and then with the half inch drive, I'm not worried about the top or the the smaller sizes like eight and nine, or maybe even three eighths and seven sixteenths. You know, because I'm going to get those covered with the three eighths drive set and with the quarter inch drive set. But I am concerned with the bigger ones and again they make a lot of sockets that they don't sell individually that's kind of frustrating craftsman um this is all of their sockets i looked on that line and they have a 299 piece socket set and so and they have 299 sockets and they sell it for 300 dollars, which means about each one socket's about a dollar each that's pretty cool for a set um they do also say that the, that set is every socket that Craftsman makes as far as a chrome socket. And in the kit, there's a lot of 12-point sockets and there's a lot of 8-point sockets. Um, I just wrote down, or I, I covered all of their 6-point sockets. So that's what is shown here. And one thing about Craftsman is that, well, they also said that this is, again, they said this is every socket they made. So I didn't really pay attention to what they sell individually. Um, I, you know, I would assume that at least most they wouldn't sell anything that's white here they obviously don't sell it individually but um, anyways I was, I was surprised I, I was expecting craftsman to have full coverage and I just sell every socket right that's I had that but I guess my opinion of craftsman keeps going down every time I do something or research them going on to SK tools um, they're they're impressive you know they 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 have a set that does not include two, but they for their quarter inch drive set they or their quarter inch drive sockets they individually they sell every single size. Um, their individual size for the three eight is pretty dang impressive. Um, I'm not too worried about the five point five because it's included in the other in the other side in the quarter inch drive sizes and for some reason eleven thirty seconds and nine thirty seconds is hard to get for three eight drive sockets. I don't know why they skipped those sizes because 11 30 seconds is kind of in I found that if you get a, a bolt that's a quarter quarter 20 bolt um, the head is usually 11 30 seconds so it's a con and that's pretty common I don't know um, with their half inch drive they uh, they don't sell one big set uh, um, they sell four smaller sets and then individually they sell a whole lot of sockets um, I don't know why they don't do the 29 and the 31 but other than that it's a pretty dang good option here um, snap-on of course is um, the standard in fact you know if I didn't find this list of, of socket sizes from uh, my machinist handbook I would have just gone to snap-on's tool catalog and then just assumed that if snap-on didn't make it then it, it's not a size right um, but they, you know, using, comparing the two, um, the blue, that's blue point. Um, and then, which is a snap on brand. You guys probably know that more than I do. And then the white is what they don't offer. But other than that, they, they didn't offer a lot. I don't really know their, well, I, I tried to look at their sets a little bit more. I'll show you later, but this is all their individual ones. Um, Mac was pretty impressive. Um, they, a little light on the, like the four and the four and a half millimeter. Um, and then for some reason they don't make a deep 31 and a 32. 
I mean, and, and this could be just because people would, would buy that as an impact and not really as a, and just use that impact for all their, all their purposes. Maybe that's why, but that's kind of interesting that Mac doesn't do that. And then Mac Co was a lot more disappointing to me than I thought they'd be better. Um, but again, you know, I mean, their three eighths drive set is pretty good and most people use that set and it covers a lot. So maybe they just, that's what they're looking for as far as the brand, but they don't have a lot of, as far as just filling all the socket sets. Cornwell, um, was, I thought they'd do better, but they're really weak in the half inch drive size. And then, uh, oh, Carlisle was kind of a, a surprise to me, um, mostly because for some reason I was confusing Cornwell with Carlisle, and then I, I went into Napa and I was looking at them and I was like, oh yeah, they're Cornwell, so I didn't really look. And then at one point I was buying a tool, or not a tool, I was buying a part, and I eventually just took a gander at their prices for individual sockets and what they had and noticed that their prices were really good, um, more like what Tecton is doing as far as their prices. Um, then I looked and I realized that Cornwell and, Car and Cornwell and Carlisle are not the same, obviously, um, and that Carlisle is, is a Taiwan-made socket, but it, it looks pretty good as far as I know. And if you look at what they offer, they offer a lot individually and in sets. They don't have that. Again, the sets are each color is a different set. Um, here's their 3 8 drive. Pretty pretty good coverage, better than others, and then their half inch drive is even is amazing. So, you know, even though they don't offer the eight and nine, that's pretty good because eight and nine is offered in those other two sizes. So, the next thing I wanted to do, and and, and I guess when you're buying a set, is you want to define your goals, and what you're really looking for. Um, the first question I guess is, do you want to buy? one big set or, or do you want to buy or is a bunch of small sets okay um, I'll tell you this much if you if you want a full set you want that full range you cannot buy one big set um, all the really big sets like the 300 piece set from Pittsburgh and the two, 300 piece set from 300 piece set from a uh, craftsman they don't have all the sockets so and then all the ones that do have all the sockets, like Snap-on and Carlisle and Mac and SK, they don't have one big set. Um, another question you can you can ask is, do you want um, one brand or do you want to, to have multiple brands? Um, if you want one brand, you can do it. You just have to, each, each brand you pick will have a compromise. Um, for instance, if you pick Snap-on, uh, you can't get a 3.2 and a 6.3. If you buy SK, you can get a 6.2 or a 6.3 and a 3.2. <laughs> In fact, they're the only ones that make it. But they're missing that, that 31 and the 29. Um, so, and so you're, you know, you can stick with one brand and just not have those three or four sockets. Um, with Carlisle, you're, you're still not going to get this 3.2 and the 6.3. So, but but you know, if you stick with the with the four brands of Snap-on, SK, Carlisle, or Mac, then you'll you'll each one will have three or four sockets that you're missing. But for the most part, you'll have every single one. Um, and really, if if you pick a brand that's not those four, you'll have to pick. You'll still have to buy individually from those four to fill your set if you want a full set. Another question is what what quality do you want? Um, again, the the four sets are out of the the four that are completely f will fill. Your um, Carlisle is the only one that's made in Taiwan. The other three are made in the U.S. and I would consider them very high quality. Um, obviously, Snap On is the most expensive. Um, now, and that goes into cost. You know, is is SK if you have to have a professional brand. Is SK good enough? Because it's the cheapest out of those brands as far as made in the U.S. and considered professional. 
you know, or do you have to have the absolute best and have to have a um, snap on? So that's, I'm not going to answer that as questions. That's something for you to answer for yourself. And then again, the last question and how, how important is a complete set? Again, like I said, you could have, you know, it, how important is if you have, if you get like the Mac, all Mac um, sockets and you don't have that, that 31 and 32 millimeter in the half inch range, the deep half inch six point, you know, maybe you have a bunch of impacts that will cover that. So again, that's, you know, that's a question you'll have to ask yourself. But again, these are the four brands um, that have the most. And so if you want to get, if you want the most complete set, you have to buy from one of these four, whether it's covering it, whether you buy another set and then you fill in with these or you just buy these ones. Um, now in doing this, you know, that your first, usually people want to know, well, what's, well, if I want to, you know, what's the most, what's the cheapest? Um, I, you know, you probably already know which is the most expensive option, but what's the cheapest option? How do I get a full set with the least amount of money? And so I ran some numbers and, um, Tekton came out, looks like it's pretty dang good. And, and it was cheaper than the other options that I ran. Um, I didn't really look at um, gear wrench mostly because I'll show you why um, I would I would put them in with craftsmen as far as why they wouldn't be the cheapest um, but so Tekton the reason why it's the cheapest the, the reason why it's the cheapest is that it offers a set discount right so you they have a, a big set a set with a lot of options and then they don't charge what they, the way that they sell their individual sockets um, like if you, if you looked at what they, how they sell their individual sockets, you added all the price up for the set and the set is going to be less money, right? So if they sell, like, like if you look at the quarter inch drive set, if you add all those up and they're normally about three fifty to $4 per socket, um, but the whole set is under $50. And so each socket is less than, I mean, it's like a 40 something piece set and this $50 set, you're looking at a dollar socket. Whereas they're selling it for 350 individually each socket, and so they do that with each of their sets. So if you buy the sets, you're going to, you're only going to need to fill in a few, and that's what the blue is. It's I, you know, since Carlisle is the cheapest, um, that has the full individual sockets, full offering with individual sockets. So that's if you're looking for the cheapest set, you got to go with Carlisle, and so if I, and this is the option I'm picking, you know, I. I pick Tekton, I buy these three individual sets, then I buy um, 12 sockets on top of that, and on the, it looks on the side, you can see the price it comes out to about $400. So I did that same process with um, some other ones, and, I, and let's go, you know, the first one, Pittsburgh, right? Everybody expects Pittsburgh to be the cheapest, and so the the the, the first set is the it's kind of the little darker oranges set and that one that's their 301 piece set now their 301 piece tool set it includes more than this right so you're getting pliers and you're getting a bunch of other things you're getting wrenches um, ratchet wrenches and you're getting 12 point sockets so of course my purpose is just six point so I, that's all I can take out so, you know, you have to put that into consideration. You're getting more than just sockets. But if you're really looking for sockets, it doesn't matter what else you get. The other fluff stuff. Um, but anyways, so I get that set. And then I go buy an, another set from Pittsburgh. That's because they're, they're, the, the 301 piece set is a little weak on the deep millimeter half inch drive. And so I go get, uh, there's another set for $17 they have. That is a deep millimeter six point half inch drive set. And that covers 10 millimeter to like 18 or 19 millimeter. So everything like the 13 millimeter, 14, 15, 17, those are going to be doubled up. You're going to have two sockets. They're exactly the same. But you'll cover in the cheapest way those those other ones. And then the rest you have to buy Carlisle. If you want to get a full set, you have to, you have to buy Carlisle in here. And so I add up what it would cost for each of those sockets. 
And, you know, on the bigger ones, the half-inch drive ones, they sell those for around $10, whereas the smaller ones are less than 5 And I add it up, and I come up with $550. Now, you could get it for $500. A lot of people say that they get the Pittsburgh 300-piece set for $150 on sale. Um, so that's that's something that, you know. But anyways, it's still more expensive than the Tecton. Um, the next one is... I looked at his Craftsman. Again, just because you get this Craftsman set, you get these sockets for about a dollar each. And of course, again, this is the same thing that I'm talking about with Pittsburgh, is that you buy this 299 piece Craftsman set, it's just sockets for $300. You get other sockets that's not on this list. So that's something to look at. But at the same time, you're, you still have to fill it in to get a full set. Um, and so that's what the blue is. One, oh, I guess one thing, the gray that I didn't mention with, earlier with the Tecton and with the Pittsburgh is the gray that I'm, I'm just not buying those ones. I don't, because I'm getting them covered, I'm still covering that size. I'm just going to cover it either with, with another drive size, which is, so I kind of deem them as I don't need them. I'm trying to keep my cost down and I can get it. I'm still getting the coverage. But the blue is Carlisle, and so I add that. This one comes out, even though you get a deal with all those sockets, you still have to spend a, about the same amount or more just filling in your gaps. And this is why I didn't really look at um, gear wrench, just because their their half inch drive set is lacking a lot, and so I didn't I didn't look. Um, now, one thing, you know, you notice that I'm buying a lot of Carlisle sockets. Well, what happens if we just buy all Carlisle? Now, again, that this shows that Carlisle doesn't, they don't do like a set, a set discount is what I'm calling it, where, you know, individually, like you buy a set and it's cheaper than buying the sockets individually. It seems like, now they're, I guess they are giving you a little bit, but for the, for the most part, you're buying each set they sell is about the, what they're charging you if you just added up the cost for each socket. But here's their here's their um, full set. Um, here's all their sets, all their individual sets that you'll have to buy. Comes out to 16 smaller sets to make a, a complete full set. Um, and I added it up and it came out to almost $900, which is actually a pretty good price. Um, for you though, those of you that buy professional tools, you'll know that that's really cheap. So this is kind of the, the the cheapest you can get if you stay with one brand, and and the rest of what I'm going to show you is is staying with one brand and not filling everything in. So here's Carlisle, um, here's SK, which is the next. This is the cheapest American USA made socket. Now if you look again, the 3H drive, even though they do sell individually more of those 3H drive sockets, this is their set. And again, the 3H drive, I'm trying to save money here by um, not filling in the, the kind of the top and the bottom of it, right? The middle's good. And so I buy a, a quarter inch drive set, I buy a 3H drive set, and then I, I buy their four um, half inch drive sets, and then I still have to buy three more individual sockets, and then that comes out to $2,500 which is a big jump, um, more than twice what it costed by all Carlisle. Anyways, so remember that 2500 it actually comes out, that's, that's actually a little more than half, or less than half of what it costs for Snap-on. Mac came split the middle between um, SK and Snap-on, and again, these, these are all individual sets, so every color is a different set. And the gray are individual sockets that you're going to buy. And the white are ones that you're just going to say you don't need. Um, and it comes out to 3600 or almost 3700 And then, of course, the granddaddy all of, of all of them is the Snap-on. And it comes out to 5200 And again, the gray is you're buying those individually. And then each color is a set. Um, and then the white is, your, I'm kind of saying that you don't need them. So obviously if you want to get those ones, you'll have to pay more. So this is, you know, this is where I, I came to. This is, the, this is my, um, all the research I did. 
And and for me personally, I'm you know, I'm not a professional mechanic. So I've decided that the Tecton sets are just fine for me and I'll just fill them in with Carlisle sockets. I'm actually really impressed with the Carlisle sockets. I bought a couple I bought some four millimeter ones and some one eighth inch ones. Um just to fill in my quarter inch drive set and they've you know I still need to buy the 4.5 millimeter ones but they're pretty impressive they they're they're kind of the same style as snap-on um, they're a little you know a little different than what Husky and and Tecton offer for sockets so I wonder if they might I think that well obviously they're, they're not made in the same factory if they have a different style unless the factory is pumping out different styles um, but anyways, that's my option. I'm, I'm picking the, the Tecton and, and then, um, moving on with my life. But if you, if you want to know what the best one or the best way, the cheapest way or the most expensive way to get full set and what it is, um, hopefully I, you enjoy this video and hopefully it helped you a little bit and thank you for watching.